In step number one, I went ahead and curled the whole head to get a good foundation along to get that beachy curled feel. In step number two, you want a clean parted mohawk section all the way around the head and then clip the section up for later. Step number three, I hit my curls with Orbe's dry texture spray before going into braiding. Now into the braiding, I took a triangle section from the front of the hairline and started a normal French braid. As I cross over the top strand, I allow it to lay freely. Next I pick up a new strand of hair from the head under our existing braid. After I then add hair from the head to the top strand of our braid and continue on until you hit the right corner of the mohawk section. Then braid through to the end. On step number four, repeat the exact same steps for step number three, but on the opposite side of the head. On step number five, take down the mohawk section and brush out for smoothness. Next, take a half moon section from the front hairline and begin to do a traditional French braid. Continue doing a traditional three strand braid all the way to the end. Take all three braids and combine them into one with an elastic hair tie. Again, I'm using the dry texture from Orbe to get a little grip so I can do a pinch and pull method to get a little separation and lift. In step six, start to undo the three braids up to the elastic hair tie. I chose to do a fishtail braid to finish this look, but you can do whatever style or braid you would like. With the fishtail braid, you can go two different routes. Route one is a tighter look, and you will achieve this by grabbing smaller sections from behind and bringing it over. Route two is a more full look, and you can do this by grabbing bigger sections and bringing it over. The very last step to finish this look is going back up top of this last braid and cutting the elastic out to give it that finished look. My name is Tanner Johnson and I want to thank you for watching my video on this style.